I mean, Sule, I want to start with you because I look at the statistics when we uh, reach out to the RTI Commission uh, for it. And I see, if you look at the total number of uh, requests that we have re they've received so far, 1,053, and we have 80.15% of that approved, only 4.46% rejection rate. You look at that instantly, you think, well, this is a very effective implementation over the past five years, and we really achieved our objectives. It has we've, it's met the promise. Well, um, I, I would partly agree with your assessment. I think that um, um, we've seen some progress. And in fact, if you look at it in, in relation to what prevails in um, other countries that may that even passed their RTI laws before us, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, um, Guinea, um, Cote d'Ivoire, and the others. Uh, certainly, the implementation in Ghana is going quite well done in those countries. But I don't think that it's been um, a smooth sailing one. I don't think that we can say that it's really been highly successful. Yes, we may have um, an 80% um, 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 I, I mean, requests um, in terms of responding, but whether or not that is the same as information being disclosed uh, is a different thing. It's one thing requesting for information from an institution and the institution responding to you and saying, well, uh, either we'll give you or we are unable to give you. And um, another thing when you, you apply and then the information is given. The other thing that we need to look at is even the 20 or so percent in terms of what we say is the rejection rate, what caliber of information is often, often turned down? Perhaps it is the most important, the most critical, the most crucial. And in that case, if it turns out that it's only even the 5%, I mean, it's only 5%, it's still very, very important. I mean, if I write to the birth and death registry and I say, I want to know the number of births and deaths that were registered in 2023 or 2024, and they grant that, fine, it's, it's useful, it's helpful. But that's different from, um, I mean, we are applying for, let's say, a contract uh, between the Ministry of Finance or GRA and SMA, which involves colossal sums of money, and we not being granted that, you know, uh, request. Mm. It is also a different thing writing to the president to say, well, you received, you commissioned this audit report, you've received it, you've made your, um, position known, and so can you share a copy with us? And then the president says no, because there is a provision uh, that says if I receive a report or if a, a report is compiled for me, I cannot grant it, then it is not granted. But the president or, is right in that case, is it not? I'm just curious to, to hear your thoughts on that. Absolutely not. I mean, I think that I've, I've responded to that um, several times. Uh, we're talking about a situation where the president has received a report, uh, deliberated on it, considered it, um, put forward his, his decisions uh, in terms of accepting the recommendations of KPMG, making known some of the findings in the KPMG report that he wishes that we, we get to know about, and actually issuing his directives on the basis of the report. So what is, what is, what is it that the president uh, would say, well, if I issue it out there, it will affect my the deliberative processes or reveal an opinion I mean, those opinions have been communicated unless the president has or the report contains something that the president would want to hide from from the public and that is why um tomorrow we are actually submitting a petition to the rti commission um challenging the decision of the of the presidency on our request and so and, and the basis yes, of, forgive me on the basis of that petition will be the basis of it is our dis disagreement with uh, the position taken by the presidency um um being the i mean the, the in terms of the grounds that they've cited in refusing um, the, the request that we made. And we are saying that we think that um, that is rather not the, the right position. And of course, if you read the section five that they referenced, um, it's quite clear that we are talking about, if, if, they, if we were talking about a report that has already been, that has been submitted to the president and the president is yet, is yet to communicate about it or yet to you know, make known whatever it is, then, of course, you would say, well, it's still under consideration. The president is still deliberating on the matter. But we are talking about, you know, a report that has been submitted. The president has come out clearly to tell us what was contained in the report, his position on the report. 
And so if you read Section 5, quite clearly, I think it's a misinterpretation of the provisions of Section 5, basically to, you know, do a denial. And so okay. we would want the RTI Commission to uh, take steps to ensure that um, the presidency grants our request. Okay.